Good afternoon, friends. So I am here with my co-teacher, Karsten, to bring you our afternoon read aloud. And today's read aloud is very suspenseful. It's a very suspenseful book, okay? Which means that it gets kind of, not scary, but it's a little stressful. So I'm excited to read it to you today. Are you excited, Carson? Yeah. So he's gonna enjoy his little afternoon snack while we read our story, which is called The Little Mouse, The Red Ripe Strawberry, and The Big Hungry Bear. <gasps> the Big Hungry Bear. Oh my goodness. Let's find out what happens. The little mouse, the red ripe strawberry, and the big hungry bear are, author's name are Dawn and Audrey Wood. Dawn and Audrey Wood. So they wrote it together. And it's illustrated by Dawn Wood. So Dawn and Audrey wrote the book, but Dawn is the one who drew all of our pictures. Remember, the illustrator is the one who draws or, or paints the pictures. And wow, look at these beautiful illustrations. So it looks like he drew all these pictures with maybe colored pencil, it looks like to me. So let's go ahead and read about our book, okay? I'm gonna come over this way a little bit. This might be easier to do. <clears throat> okay. Hello, little mouse. What are you doing? What does little mouse do? What does he have there in his hand? corner of the page. Oh, I see. Are you going to pick that red ripe strawberry? Does it look like, how do you think he's feeling right now? Look at that face. What do you think his emotions are? He looks happy. Why do you think he's happy? Because he's about to get that red ripe strawberry. That's a whole meal for that little mouse. <clears throat> but little mouse, haven't you heard about the big hungry bear? Uh-oh. He doesn't look so happy anymore. What does he look like now? I think he looks a little nervous. Why do you think he's nervous? He hasn't heard about the big hungry bear. <gasps> oh, how that bear loves to eat red ripe strawberries. Oh no, you think he's getting a little frightened? Frightened that the bear might come get his strawberry. <gasps> the big hungry bear can smell that red ripe strawberry from a mile away. <sighs> if that bear smells the red ripe strawberry, where do you think that bear is coming? Especially one that has just been picked. Especially one that has just been picked. All right, friends, let's take a break. Let's stop right there. Our mouse friend is picking that red ripe strawberry, but the big hungry bear loves red ripe strawberries, especially ones that have just been picked. Why do you think our character Mouse, let's see, there he is. Why do you think he looks so worried? Why do you think he looks so worried? Tell the person next to you what's going through his head. I think he's nervous because he's afraid that bear is going to try to come get him. <gasps> boom, boom, boom. The 
the bear will tromp through the forest on his big hungry feet and will sniff out that strawberry. What's Mouse doing now? He's trying to run away and escape with his big strawberry. Oops. No matter where it is hidden. No matter where it is hidden. How did he try to hide it? What did he do to try to hide it, friends? Tell the person next to you. He tried to dig a hole and bury it in the ground. Do you think that's gonna work? Is that gonna hide it from the big bear? See friends, this is how, this is how we lost <laughs> number 27. No Carson, you can't have them. These are for, ooh boy, these are for my students. You can't have them. Sorry guys, he's trying to steal the rest of your numbers. Those 20s, they're in danger. No matter where it is hidden. Or who is guarding it. No matter who is guarding it. How is he guarding his strawberry? What did he do? He locked it up with a lock and key to try to keep. Is that going to keep the bear away? Do you think that's going to keep the bear from coming? Or how it is disguised. What did he do here? He put that fake glasses and nose on that strawberry. Why did he do that? So that when the bear came, he wouldn't know it's a strawberry. Is that gonna work? If you were a bear and you came in, would you would you know that's a strawberry? I don't think that's gonna work. <gasps> Quick! There's only one way in the whole wide world to save a red ripe strawberry from the big hungry bear. There's only one way to save that strawberry from the big hungry bear. What do you think the way to save the strawberry is from the bear? Hmm? What do you think it is? If you were the mouse right now and you were trying to keep that strawberry from that bear, what would you do to keep him from him? Pause the video and tell the person next to you, what do you think the narrator, the person telling the story, and the mouse, what do you think they're going to do? What is their plan to save that strawberry? from the big, hungry bear. Go ahead, give your prediction. Did you tell your mommy or daddy, auntie, uncle, brother, sister, grandma, grandpa? Okay, let's find out if you're right. <gasps> Take that strawberry and cut it in two. Cut it in half. Hmm? What are they gonna do when they cut it in half? Where is this going? Cut that strawberry in two and share half of it with me. What? And we'll both eat it all up. Yum, yum. Look at him. He's all posted up at that table enjoying his candlelit strawberry dinner. Mm, mm, mm. Yum. Now that 
is one red ripe strawberry that the big hungry bear will never get. Why won't the bear get it? Because they ate it. <laughs> the end. The end. Now I have a question for you. When I read this book, it makes me wonder, was there ever a big hungry bear? Or similar to our book earlier this week, the wolf trick tried to trick the chicken. Do you think that whoever is telling this story <clears throat> was tricking the mouse so that they would have to give away half of their strawberry? Do you think there was a real bear? Or do you think it was all a scam to get that mouse to give up his strawberry? Hmm? Why don't you leave me a comment or a video and tell me. And I want you to write about the story today with your writing. I want you to tell me what was your favorite part of this book. So draw me a picture. And what, one of the things I love about this book, and I remember when I was a little girl, I really, I do, I remember reading this book when I was a little girl. From the front page, it tells you when the book is published. And here it says it was published in 1984. So when I was a little girl, this book, this book was published before I was born. So I remember reading this book when I was a little, when I was little like you guys, when I was little, four year old or so. I remember reading this book and I remember loving the pages and the pictures because they were so beautiful. So I want you to be an illustrator and I want you to draw me your favorite page, your favorite picture. What was your favorite picture? Go through a picture walk. Tell me what your favorite picture was, your favorite part of the whole book favorite page and draw me that picture okay was it the nervous mouse was it when he tried to run away with the was it when he tried to hide it in the dirt or guard it under a lock or disguise it with a mask or was your favorite part when he cut it in half and shared it with the narrator and ate it all up the end. Okay? So draw me a picture of your favorite part and let me know. Share it with me here today. Okay, friends? All right. I love you all. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. And don't forget that I'm here. If you want to call me, text me, uh, check in with me, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.